Hello, how are you? Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is uh, Sajam Najako. I guess uh, you are doing fine wherever you are watching this video from. All right, so I've got uh, this topic of which I would like to cover with you. This topic may seem to be difficult, but I'll try to make it very simple for you to understand. So follow me up to the end. So uh, under this topic, coordinate geometry, you only need to stick or to know six basic things. And these six basic things will help you be able to answer any exam question that comes your way. So the first one is distance, midpoint, gradient, equation of a straight line, parallel lines, um, perpendicular lines. Once you get these, you'll be able to smile and be able to answer exam questions accordingly. So let's start with distance. We've got distance here. So for distance, what are some of the things that you must stick to? One is the formula. So the formula of finding distance looks like this. This is how it looks like. With the power two there. I hope you are, you are with me up to here. So this is the formula for finding uh, distance. So let's say you've been given two points. Point A is, uh, let's say, 2,1. And uh, point B is uh, 3,7. Okay? And they say find the distance between these two points. So to find the distance between these two points, you're going to say A, B, okay? Or distance A, B, so to say. So that it's known that we're talking about distance. A, B is equal to put the square root sign, which is right here. And uh, on these, you put this as uh, x1 and the y2 there, x2, y2. Okay, This is what we, we need. So upon putting that, uh, you can see that uh, here, this is where we're supposed to put x1, which is, I mean x2, which is our 3 there, minus x1 there, it's a 2. Don't forget the brackets and the power 2 there. Y, y2 there, it's a 7, minus y1, which is a 1, and the power 2 there. You simplify things there, we're getting a 1 squared plus a 6 squared there, which is equal to 1 plus a, 36, because 6 times 6 is 36. So this would just be to find uh, the, the square root of 37. So you just say, you find the square root, you punch on your calculator, if you're using a calculator, square root of uh, 37, and then you say units, because it's the distance. It's distance that we are, we are looking for. Okay, so we're done with the distance. We now go to midpoint. So the same thing for midpoint, the first thing is to know the formula. So this is midpoint. You need to know the formula for midpoint. So we shall say midpoint is equal to x2 plus x1 over a 2, comma y2 plus y1 over a 2 there. This is the formula for finding the midpoint. So let's say you've been given two points, A, like we had in the previous example, and that the B is the right here. Okay? So once you these points, you just indicate your subs. So this will be our X sub 1, Y sub uh, 1. It's very important. X sub 2, Y sub 2 there. So now once you indicate that, you just plug in your formula. So we shall have uh, x sub 1 there is a 3 plus here uh, x sub, uh, sub 1 is a 2 over a 2 there comma here we shall have 7 plus uh, uh, 1. Okay. So now upon getting, upon plugging this, you just simplify. There it's a 5 over 2 comma here it's a 8 over 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 two 
which will just give us 5 over 2, comma, a 4 there. So this is our midpoint, and this is how we find uh, the midpoint. We go now to the gradient. So the gradient there, you just uh, also do the same. You need to know the formula. So this is the formula for gradient. M is equal to Y subscript 2 minus Y subscript 1 over X subscript 2 minus X subscript 1. So let's use the same points. A is a 2 comma 1 and B there is a 1, uh, 3 comma 7. Okay. So as usual, it's very important to indicate You indicate like I've done here so that it's easier for you to plug in. So our 2 there, we just say M, subscript 2 is a 7, minus a 1, over 3 minus a 2, which is giving us a 6 over 1, and this is a, a 6. Our gradient in this case is a, a 6. We're done with a gradient. We go to equation of a straight line. So, equation of a straight line, right here, equation of a straight line, you also need two things here, you need the gradient, and you also need the formula for finding equation of a straight line. So let's use the previous gradient that we found. So the M that we find, we found here was a, was a, so let me just put a point. Point A was 2 comma 1 and B was a, uh, is it 3 comma 7, if I'm not mistaken. And we found our gradient to be equal to 6. So we're going to use this uh, gradient to find the equation of a straight line. So, so we shall say, y is equal to m x plus c this is the formula that we we need to use so uh among or between these two points a and b we pick one that we work with so i'm going to go with the point a so my y axis there is one my m is a six my x there is a two plus a c so this is what we have we solve, group the light terms, we shall get our C to be equal to uh, negative, uh, negative, negative 11. So after finding this negative 11, we plug it here. So we shall say Y is equal to 6X minus 11, because C is 11, and this is our equation. So next, we go to parallel uh, lines. So for parallel lines, they're going to give you, they will say find the parallel lines or the line that is parallel to this one and passing at point, maybe point C, which is equal to uh, 1 comma 0, okay? So what do you do? Remember, we have got this equation right here y is equal to 6x minus 11. And we want to find the, the equation that is parallel to this one passing at this point. So what you do for this parallel, you just get uh, the gradient, which is right here. The number that is together with the x, that's your gradient. So we shall say m is equal to 6 as our gradient. And then use equation of finding a uh, for finding, uh, or formula for finding the equation of a straight line, which is the, this one. On y, put a 0 is equal to m is a 6, and x here is a, a 1 plus c. We are solving for c, so we shall get a negative 6. So our c will be equal to negative 6. So once you get this negative 6, plug it back there. We shall have, uh, we shall have uh, y is equal to 6 x minus 6. That's the thing. So this is the equation that is parallel to this one. What if you want to find now the perpendicular? 
six is the perpendicular. What do you do? So for perpendicular, they'll definitely ask you, okay? They'll ask you that find a perpendicular line or the line that is perpendicular to this uh, line over here, passing maybe at point D. And point D, maybe it may be, it may be 0, 0,1, maybe. Let me just say 0, 0,1, and this is the point. So what you need to do is also to get this gradient right here. So our gradient is a 6, okay? This is a gradient for the parallel. Now for the perpendicular, we shall say gradient 1 is equal to negative. You check what is the sign that is on this gradient. If they positive, you put negative. And reciprocate this one. So change on top, there will be 1, and down there there will be a 6. So this is what I mean. Let me, let me show you. You might be getting confused. This is a fraction. We know that there is a 1 down here. So we shall say m1 is equal to negative because here it's positive. So change the sign to negative. 1 on top there and the 6 down there. So this is the gradient of the line that is perpendicular to this one. Okay, so let me write it here. m1 is equal to negative 1 over 6. All right, so now we do the same procedures for finding the equation of a straight line. So here our y will be a 1 is equal to our m will be negative 1 over 6 and our x will be equal to a 0 plus c. Okay. So for c, we are getting a 1. c is equal to 1. This will just give us a 0. So upon getting this c, we say y is equal to negative 1 over 6 x plus a 1. So this is a line that is perpendicular to this one. Thank you, thank you so much for watching. Kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel and also follow me on my Facebook page, Jacob Sichamba Online Math. Okay? You can also join our online tuitions if you'd like to learn more mathematics. More, 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 more mathematics with us. You can join our online tuitions. The number to WhatsApp or call is right here, 0969 and 01. So let me put it nice for you so that you don't get confused. The number to contact us on is plus 26 And you definitely be helped. Bye-bye.